Well, happy weekend, folks. Thank you for hanging out with me for just a couple of minutes as we talk about what is happening in the life of St. Paul's United Methodist Church. Uh, we've got two um, pretty important things happening in the coming days we want to make sure that we are clear with you about. Uh, the first is uh, we're going to be holding a very special memorial service on Saturday afternoon uh, for young Abe Everts. Uh, many of you um, may have um, heard about Abe's um, tragic death. Um, perhaps you know his family. Um, maybe you heard me talk about Abe um, and the loss of his life in service on Sunday. And so we are going to hold space with the family. You know, we're going to celebrate uh, the life that he shared with so many. Um, we're going to hold that space of grief and joy, and we're going to be the church. And so I'm so very grateful for the many of you uh, who've communicated with me that you not only plan on being here to hold space with the family, even though you may not know them personally, um, and that you're available to serve. Um, and so um, I couldn't find places for everyone that stepped up um, to plug in uh, to help, but there are some that are going to be filling some really important roles, and we're grateful to all of you whether you're gonna be here in a particular role or just to be here as a church member uh, to provide love and care and hold space with them. Uh, that's gonna be at two o'clock on Saturday. And uh, the family uh, wants us uh, to have a casual, uplifting, uh, childlike service. And so Abe really, really loved Sesame Street. Uh, that was one of his uh, very big connections in this life. And so um, anything that reminds you of Sesame Street, bright colors that you want to wear, please do so. Um, and so just know that that is um, a wish of the family, and we look forward to having a beautiful celebration of his life and witnessing to our faith and putting our hope and resurrection that Christ promises uh, on Saturday at 2 p.m. Uh, now, Sunday is also, uh, we've been talking about a special Sunday in the life of our church, and so we're going to be having Servant Sunday, uh, a Sunday where we focus in on and celebrate and invite us back into this knowledge that the fruit of our discipleship, what it means for us uh, to live out our faith, um, always moves us to service. And service is a, a huge part of our call as Christians. And so you're going to hear from several folks, uh, both folks you know and some others from our community that are going to share with us about four particular ways that we want you to at least be aware of, but even more importantly, serve within um, as it is as a member here at St. Paul's. Uh, so four mission partners we talk about. That's the language we use. Foster Florida, which you'll learn more about if you don't know much about them. Interfaith Emergency Services. Open Arms Village, which is about to have a big expansion. And um, our school partnership, which... Uh, for the last several years has focused at Fort McCoy School um, and we're also going to be um, kind of reframing that conversation to um, put a, a larger emphasis on our own St. Paul's Christian School here. And so you'll hear from people about that on Sunday. And I hope you look forward to that and we'll be able to celebrate uh, the service that we all bring uh, to God's kingdom here in Ocala and beyond. Now afterwards we're going to stick around and have lunch together uh, we don't get to do that very often, but we figured this was a great day to not only celebrate uh, the life that we share, but also the service that we give to our community. So we want you to stick around. Uh, we're going to have tacos and all the fixings in the fellowship hall afterwards. So many of you um, picked up a label um, and said you're going to help provide some of the items for that meal. And thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. But be sure to have those uh, here in the fellowship hall once you arrive and uh, we've got lots of folks working behind the scenes to make sure we have a wonderful time together. So I look forward to a beautiful day, both on Saturday and on Sunday at Servant Sunday, and stick around for lunch as well. All right? Grace and peace to you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I can't wait to see you very soon.